just kind of a quick review where we're at. This is the axe reaction line. So this target line's been in place for a long time, and the market continues to um, respect that right here. Bounced off it, you know, it bounced off this line. Well, that was kind of a unique target objective. See this line here, this line um, all together, and it came right back up to this area here, which is the upper parallel line. You can see it was in a bearish bias here. The market tried to turn bullish, but the red bars was a warning to say, uh, don't be a buyer because uh, this market could go back down. This was not quite a reaction swing, but it did come back up, test this, and this here kind of qualifies for a double cross sell pattern. So you can see the market resumed, uh, the berry structure came on down and look where we're at right now. We're just moving into this reaction zone and this is the B reaction zone. See right here is the reaction swing and of course what we do is we use this project. And on a TC pattern, the B is the more important on an A I mean, a TR pattern, the A is more important, but this is the most important thing. So what it's doing right now is very, very critical to watch. This line of support, this line of support, all coming together right inside this reaction period. Now, so far, it's just an inside day, but it's very interesting because I want to break it down a little bit here. See how the market opened and then dropped down to this support line, and now it's starting to recover. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab what I'm looking at here is a 15 minute chart on the E-mini S&Ps. I can even drop down to a five minute. I'm just going to go down, even drop it down a little further here. Go back here to the five minute and you can see right here the market come down. As I talked about, here is your action reaction but it was your B see how there was a B and then the market came up and made the low right inside when it hit this right inside that projected reaction zone that would be right here and the market is zoomed up and look how it, now it's gone up here and it's kind of stalled but that's one thing you could look at when when you have a a daily market that's going down and hitting some critical areas or hitting or going up and hitting some critical areas. That's what I like to do is I like to drop it down and look at a um, smaller time frame to kind of get some indication of what it's going to do. Here's another thing to look for. Look how you had this pattern right here. The market dropped just barely took out that low right here and then it followed by an inside bar. Now that's the pattern that we teach uh, to look for, failed swing pattern. That usually means at the end of the trend, especially if it comes and coincides with hitting support inside a reaction zone. So there's quite a few things that came together that said, uh, beware, this market is probably finished on the downside and look for a rally. Let's just step back a little bit further. Just kind of walk back here. You can see that this TR pattern right here and it made a 60% retracement, so it basically kicked in a cell right here, but you put you right down to this reaction swing, and this would be your TC pattern. So here's your TR pattern, put you in the TC pattern, the market moved up inside that bar, and we know if the market moves up into it, then we're normally looking for the market to turn and head lower. In addition, the PFI was sloping down, right here and you double cross pattern so there's a double cross there was a continuation that means just looking at the double cross pattern it kicked another cell right in this area here market structures bearish pfis bearish structures bearish so that kind of shows you what the reaction point and understanding the market structure and price action what it's telling you let me try to go back one more there we go Okay, so this is the reaction swing that was projected by using the TR pattern, right? So what we do is now we switch to this one and we go back and it this is what we project out here and look how it all came together. That's what I was trying to show you. So you have a TR pattern, we'll give you the TC pattern. And then we drop to the TC pattern, which is trend continuation. We do a brand new time and price projection, which means we go back and right here, and then we use that to project forward. That puts us right exactly on this price bar right here. 
and that just happens to coincide with a lower parallel line. So right there is where time and price come together. In addition, we've completed the cycle, which means a TR pattern followed by a TC pattern that's completed the cycle and we look for the market to either reverse and head higher or go through a significant correction. And that's exactly what happened here. Okay, so basically what this is looking at is we are finding support. The market may get a little rebound. Tomorrow is the projected reaction day, reversal day. So if we're up a little today and up into tomorrow, then we have to be careful and look to see if the market is going to turn back down again. 